Generating AI stickers is fun and can make you a lot of money if you follow the correct strategy. Before AI, stickers were difficult to make because you had to have some skills to draw them. Now, you can easily generate them online. Yes, it's not free to make AI stickers. That's why, in today's video, I will show you a great way to make thousands of AI stickers with a small budget. The tool I will use is StickerWiz from ChatGPT. I think you heard of it, but no one has ever showed you the best way to use it. Please follow the same steps. Go to ChatGPT Plus and search for the StickerWiz plugin. After that, ask it to generate you a sticker in any niche you want. I chose the alien niche for this tutorial. StickerWiz will do a great job. After that, I asked it to generate a group of aliens. It did generate what I asked. But as you can see, the aliens were in one sticker. This sticker could sell, but I will show you a better prompt. Next, I asked it again to generate a group of aliens, but I told Sticker Wiz to make each one in a sticker. And look at that. Instead of generating one sticker at a time, I have now 15 stickers. 12 of them are usable. The other three are cropped because the background is square. The next trick will blow your mind. Copy paste your previous prompt and add this. The sticker has a solid white background, a strong black border surrounding the white die cut border, and no shadow. The stickers are away from each other on a rectangle background. And look at the results. This is amazing. With one prompt, I could generate at least 30 stickers. This is very cool because you can only send 40 messages each three hours in ChatGPT+. This is also applicable in all the plugins like StickerWiz. The only problem here is that the stickers are kind of small. But don't worry. Copy paste the exact prompt and generate again. You will have other stickers with different sizes and styles. It's very rare that you get the same designs. When you keep copying the same prompt, the plugin will tell you that the request you've made has already been fulfilled with the most recent image provided. You have to reply and tell it that you typed the same prompt because you like the design and want more of that style. Also, ask it to not send you this message again. It will reply by understood and start generating what you asked for. This looks cooler than the previous ones. I did other generations to show you that it will work most of the time, and that's not just a coincidence. I got a rectangular background every time and different aliens with different looks and sizes. After that, I changed the word aliens with astronauts. As you can see, I still got 15 stickers with one prompt. You can type more details. You don't have to stick with a basic niche. Ask for more colors and shapes. Try to cross niche, but never. I'm saying never remove the background details. Only change the first part of the prompt. If you change the whole prompt, the plugin will tell you that it can only generate you one sticker at a time, although it's clear that it can generate multiple. It's programmed this way. Earlier, I told you it will work most of the time, not every time, because sometimes it won't understand some elements. For example, I asked for a bouquet of flowers, and it generated them perfectly. But when I added more details, like colors, it kept the rectangular background, but only gave me one sticker. I tried it a second time and also didn't work. I changed the flowers with hearts and I got what I asked for. 45 perfectly shaped heart stickers with one prompt. Could you imagine that? Then I changed the hearts with cute dragons. It gave me different dragons with different styles. One dragon spits fire from its mouth. I'm really in love with this tool. This is another tip for you. You can also generate beautiful nature images as stickers. For example, this is the results of a sunset stickers. Another nature element is mountains. Look at that. If you're not into nature, you can ask it to generate cute rabbits in the kawaii style. This style really sells on Redbubble or any other print-on-demand websites. I don't know what I was thinking here. I asked it for some kawaii trees. Please don't call me weird. The last idea I generated was some kawaii cats. This is perfection, everybody. Go to Redbubble or any other print-on-demand website and search for kawaii cats. Tell me in the comments if the stickers I generated are better than what you find. Maybe I'm exaggerating. I truly believe that this plugin is the best thing that happened for print-on-demand sticker sellers. I'm curious to see what you think in the comments. And while you're there, please destroy that like button for me because it pushes me to make more free content like this. Thank you. Now you may ask, how can you sell these stickers? Canva made it easy for us. Upload your stickers, then remove the background. If you don't have Canva Pro, there are so many free background remover like Adobe Express. 
Just Google Adobe Express Background Remover. After that, crop each sticker and put it in the corner. Don't make them too large because they will get pixelated and you won't be able to sell them. Sometimes, because the characters are close to each other, the crop feature won't get you the best results. That's why you need to erase the stuff you don't want. Repeat the same steps with as many stickers as you want. You can sell each sticker alone, or you can sell a sticker pack. It's really up to you. Me, personally, I like sticker packs because the buyer would like four stickers in the price of one. I will get more sales like that, and with Sticker Whiz, I can literally generate thousands of stickers each month. Now, if you sell and ship your own products, that's fine. But if you're like me and you upload your designs on print, on-demand websites, you will need to erase that white contour around the sticker because the pod websites will add their own white contour. There's free Photoshop alternative called Photo-P. Upload your image and select the magic wand. Change the tolerance to 30. That number might change depending on the sticker. Then select the white contour and delete it. Take all the time you need. Or if you want to vectorize this image, go to Vectorizer AI. It was free while in beta, but now it's a paid tool. There are some other free options, but this one remains the best. It will show you the results as soon as you upload your image. If you're going to upload it as it is, select PNG. If you want to edit it, select SVG. If you want to try generating multiple stickers with one prompt on Leonardo AI, watch this video. See you in the next one.